friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. For those of you that are new here, I am a first year kindergarten teacher in Maryland. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I think are awesome from Amazon that you can use during this remote learning time, homeschooling time, anytime that you're teaching from home, which I know a lot of the country is right now. These are some things on Amazon that I think are awesome, great tools to have at home and are super inexpensive as well. One thing to note is that I do teach kindergarten, so a lot of these things are geared towards the little ones. So if you do have older kids, some of these things might be good for them as well. But most these things are geared a little bit towards the younger ones. So the first thing I have on my list are chalkboards and we use chalkboards in my classroom all the time, specifically for teaching handwriting. I think the pack that I got came with 14, but I know that there are smaller packs out there and I will try to find some for you guys, but they are the mini chalkboards. They're not really that big. Um, and what's great about them is they really help with teaching kids how to do straight lines and diagonal lines and stuff. Okay, you have to bear with me because I don't have the chalkboard, so I'm making my own makeshift one. Um, basically what I do with them in my classroom is, at the top right hand corner, I put a little um, smiley face sticker right there so the kids know that this is their starting ground. And then we take our chalk and this is where we would start to form our letters. So let's say we're learning the letter K. The kids are going to keep their chalk all the way up against the, the rim of the or the border of the chalkboard and draw a straight line down. So they're basically just tracing that line against the border. They're starting at the smiley face, coming back up and then coming all the way to the other corner and then doing that like kick out motion. So they're utilizing the whole board and having those corners and straight edges and stuff to trace really helps them practice those straight lines and forming their letters. And the same goes with numbers. I've noticed that it helps a lot with my kids' handwriting, so I definitely recommend trying it. But chalkboards are also great for other things. If you're practicing math problems or handwriting or writing in general, it's a great way to save paper and not go through all these sheets of paper. You can just do your work, erase it, and then do the next problem. Okay, my next suggestion from Amazon are blue light glasses. I recently have become obsessed with blue light glasses with being on the computer so much more now and teaching from the computer I find that my eyes are becoming more strained I do wear glasses in general so you can get blue light glasses with prescriptions in them if that is the case you may need to go see your eye doctor and they can help you pick frames that can have your prescription lenses in them however if you really don't use glasses or you don't have that harsh of a prescription you can easily go on Amazon and they have tons of different kinds the one that I got came in a two-pack and they are awesome I've noticed such a big difference they really help my eyes and I don't have such a headache and I don't feel like my eyes are dying after looking at a computer for so many hours. So whether you as the parent or teacher are helping your kids at home and you're on the computer a lot, or even your kids, your students, if they are on the computer a lot, then it might be a good idea to look into them for them as well. Okay, the next thing I have is a super fun thing that my kids love using in school, but I have thought about it and it's also a really great resource for home. It is a 10 frame rug. So basically, if you don't know what a 10 frame is, it is just 10 squares. So there's five on the top and five on the bottom. They're this box. Boxes, and then they have dots that go in them and it kind of helps kids learn to count helps work on like number recognition and seeing a number of objects and being able to just automatically know what number that is and so we use them a lot in kindergarten we also use them a lot in first grade it's definitely a tool that a lot of primary kids use to help that number recognition but usually it's like on paper or something small but this rug is something that lays on the floor so it's really really big and it's just a way for the kids to be able to move around and make it more interactive because they get to hold these huge dots and they have to go put them in the 10 frames and you can make games out of it it's just a lot more fun and interactive that way so if you are stuck at home and trying to get your kids to be up and moving and not just sitting on a computer or doing paperwork check out this 10 frame rug because it will get them up and moving but also it's a resource that they are probably used to using at school Okay, up next I have cubes and honestly really any sort of math manipulatives like dot counters are great or those little bingo chips or um, different like counters like animals or those teddy bears those are also great but just in general I picked cubes because it's one of the most common things that kids use in school like unifix cubes that connect to each other they're awesome to use for counting sorting objects patterning all that stuff if you're working on any sort of math skills honestly unifix cubes are wonderful there's so many different kinds and packages available with a different amounts on Amazon that are really great prices so any sort of those counters or cubes or things that they can sort or use to count or pattern it's honestly great and they can be used for so many different things at home my kids personally they were given math bags um, to take home and keep at home so they have cubes and I've been seeing pictures that the parents have been sending me of the kids using them in so many different ways at home so they're very versatile and very inexpensive okay my last big recommendation is chart paper now this specifically I think is really great for young kids who are still learning to write and still building that core strength because believe it or not writing does take a lot of core 
core strength and you have to have that muscle in proper placement in order to be able to form your letters and write properly. So a really cool exercise that I love to do with my kids in my classroom is put paper up on a wall, either on an easel or put it on a wall. So I'm talking about like that really big chart paper. It can have lines or maybe it doesn't have lines you can pick. But if you put it up so it's in front of them and they have to lift their arm and write, it really helps build that core strength. So it's exercising their core for their writing abilities and just makes them that much stronger of a writer. Um, another option though with this would be to have them lay on their stomach and write on the floor and not just be sitting at a desk or a table or whatever you're using at home. Try to get them moving into different spots at home. So standing up and writing on the wall or on an easel, laying down on the floor and writing, it's exercising different muscles that they need and that will help them become stronger writers. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys got some good ideas from this. If you have suggestions for great tools that you like to get online for homeschooling, please leave them down below because right now everyone can use all the help that they can get. If you did find this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you did. And if you're new to my channel and are looking for other teacher tips or just watching a daily life in a teacher vlogs, I make tons of those and just kind of following me around in my teacher life, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Enjoy Join our little family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!